What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> Oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Make a mistake coming here. I, I, I don't know. I remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. Do we really want to involve other people? Well, maybe he can help. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad, Sean. We have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? It happened so fast. 
I saw the cop on the ground, and my dad, and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know. You poor thing. But that just made things worse for you and your brother. <sighs> you know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, uh, at least you've managed to come here alive. <sighs> We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise are no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? Why? Sean says that's bullshit. Now, boys, that's not very polite. We always say a prayer at bedtime. Always. We never do. Never. That didn't make us go to church, so... Why well, see. Maybe you're too young to know everything yet, but I can't make you pray. Well, it's time for bed. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Thank you again. Yeah. We'll be quiet. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. 
Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, that prayer thing was pretty weird. I really hope we'll be okay here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean? Are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well... You know. I was wondering... How do you do it? Uh... I don't know. I concentrate and... It just happens. Wait. Does it hurt? Nah. It's kinda itchy though. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway... Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub. I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm... All right. I'm allowed to go out now. That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. Daniel is training his precision with ease. Fucking awesome.
can't believe we actually spent a month out there by ourselves and survived. Pretty badass. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> Um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Better hit the kitchen quick. Claire's waiting for us. I get why Dad never brought us down here. Fuck. I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it and kept it. I used to hate brushing my teeth, just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Hope I'll never have to hold on to a bar to take a shit. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's that bed. Feels like a cloud. <laughs> I know. You can sit down, Sean. Aren't you hungry? Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your box car. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. I love how they're getting along. Mm. 
What's on the menu this morning? Well, someone told me the buttermilk waffles are back. Mmm, mmm, awesome. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh. I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanya will freak. Thank you. <laughs> 